Hey everybody, I am parked in front of my Cabbage Patch shelf today and I'm just recording these videos, cranking them out because I don't know when I'll get another chance to. So I wanted to record my thrift haul. I haven't been thrifting a whole lot, but I did go the other day. So I wanted to show you everything that I got because usually I just get a couple of things, but I found quite a bit at my Goodwill. So let's get into it. Um, first off, I found this. It's like an Easter basket, but the handle's been cut off. This was a buck fifty because it had a red tag. So I thought my daughter could use this for storage. I thought that would be really cute for her to put like her, um, she has like little small plush and like the Squishmallow keychains. My daughter collects Squishmallows too. It's not just me. Um, so I thought this would be a nice vessel to put them in. And it was only a dollar fifty. So you can't get a storage basket for that except like at the Dollar Tree. And those are really cheap looking. I found this Snoopy. He has bunny ears, so he's an Easter Snoopy. Um, red tags were half price, so he was only 50 cents. So I figured for 50 cents I'd pick him up. I've got a couple of other like Easter themed plush in my Mercari shop, and they're not really moving, so I thought I'd lot them together and do like an Easter lot. Maybe that's somebody's cup of tea. I love Easter colors. Easter is my favorite. I got this Frankie Stein. Monster High plush. I thought she would go in my Mercari shop. Somebody will want her, a Monster High collector. I still have a few Monster High, but not many. Um, and the ones I have are pastel. But yeah, she was $3, which is kind of steep for a plush at the Goodwill. But with her being Monster High, I thought, you know, even if I sell her and I make $2, you know, that's something that's $2 off the stuff that I'm keeping for myself. And that's why I do this. I'm not reselling things to make a lot of money. I'm just doing it so that I can continue to collect or to cover my cost of collecting. I found this beautiful cup, like a little teacup. It might be a, like a sugar bowl. I don't know. It, to me, it looks like a teacup because it just has the one handle. Um, but this one was $1.50 and I just bought this for the sole purpose of putting it in my china cabinet. I thought it would look nice with my other pink and aqua things that I have in there. So. I don't think it's particularly old or anything. I just thought it was pretty and it was $1.50, so picked it up. I found a Build-A-Bear. This is the Girl Scouts S'mores Build-A-Bear. See, it's a newer one because it's got it on the paw. Um, and she has one bow on her. She doesn't have a sound. And there, if there was a smell, it's gone now. But yeah, um, I don't know how collectible... These are, I figured I could make a couple of dollars on this one. Um, and if not, I don't mind keeping her because she's cute. I'm really picky about Build-A-Bears. The generic ones don't really sell, so I don't bother with those. I only get them if they're really cute or if they're a character that I think will sell or they're something that I want personally. And then I got another Build-A-Bear. This one's probably staying with me because it's a bunny and bunnies are my favorite. And it's this pink bunny. I gotta wash it. None of the stuff has been cleaned yet, so it's kind of... Um, she has little purple bows, and her ears are glittery. Um, she doesn't have the paw, so you know she's older. But I spotted the older tag. And um, this one does have a date tag, April of 2012. So she's a little bit older. But um, she's really pretty. Oh, she has the little paw tag. So Some of the ones I have that are retired, they don't even have this. They just have the tush tag that's like that. I got her. She has a sound, but it doesn't work anymore, so. Okay, and then I was super, super excited because I hardly ever find jelly cats. There was a while where I found a few. I sent those to Holly because they weren't ones that I really wanted, but um, I found this small bunny, and I had one that was this size before, but it was brown, and I think I sent that one to Holly because it just didn't it wasn't anything special and it would take up room and I have to be kind of picky about what stays around here. I mean, I have a lot in my collection. You can't really see when I'm in my, my office slash toy room and there's a lot in here. Um, but this, I guess it's the Woodland Bunny or the Shy the Bashful Bunny. I don't know. This is a little blue bunny. So it can sit with my other Jelly Cat Bunny that I have and keep it company. And then I also got this little bunny who's a ballerina. And I love ballerinas because when I was little I wanted to be a ballerina. 
and I had like all the ballerina things in the early 90s you know all the ballerina decor um let's see if this one has a date tag 19 2019 so it's kind of recent these things have like a million tags on them um let's see this one was a dollar this one was a dollar so I'll pay a dollar for a jelly cap sure and these are cute these are staying with me and then I found a Squishmallow Hug Me. I never thrift Squishmallows anymore. I've only found them at the thrift once or twice. And now I don't ever find them. And I guess because this one doesn't look like the regular Squishmallows. Like, here's the other one that I thrifted. You know, round, typical Squishmallow. These are the Hug Me's that are shaped like this. This is Unicorn. I don't know the name, but it's a pastel unicorn with pink hair. And that's good enough for me. And so soft and squishy. So this one's going to get a bath and live with me. Uh, this one was $2. I don't pay $2 for a Squishmallow Hug Me. You know they're getting scalped online. Way up there in price. It's ridiculous. Okay. I also found this La La Loopsie Swan for my daughter. She has a La La Loopsie collection. It was a dollar, which is kind of steep for a little piece of plastic, but um, sometimes in the Instagram sales, they're that or more, and then you have to pay shipping, so... I was good with that. She really likes the little pets. Um, we have a handful of them, and she plays with sometimes just the pets. So I picked that up for her. thought she'd like it. And then over in the office supplies, I found this Harajuku Mini folder from when Gwen Stefani did the Harajuku Mini line for Target. Um, it was a quarter, and I always need school supplies being in college and being the grown, serious adult that I am. I always need super serious school supplies. <laughs> so I picked that up because it was cute and I'll use it for school. Okay, and the last last things, I mean, it seemed like a lot. Um, I found this swimsuit. I haven't tried it on yet because I haven't washed it. But it's like um, like a pinup style. You know, it's got the little, the little overskirt and the ruching. Um, and it's by Mod Cloth. Mod Cloth stuff is kind of expensive. Um, I don't know if it'll fit because it's a large and I think their stuff runs kind of small. So I might be an extra large, um, which I'll be sad if it doesn't fit. But if it doesn't, I'll wash it and I'll just list it online. Maybe somebody will buy it. Because um, I'm sure these cost quite a lot new. Oh, it's got the, it's still got the liner in it. So, yeah. I hope it fits. If it doesn't, then I'll just have to wash it and sell it. And then I got something for my sister. You know, I always pick up the Disney stuff for her. She loves Disney. Um, I found this over in the pajamas. And it's Olaf. And it says, I'm having a meltdown. And it's this, like, plush kind of sweatshirt. I just thought it was cute. I love the color. But it was a red tag. And red tags were half price. So it was, like, a dollar fifty. So I picked that up for her. I sent her a picture. I was like, hey, would you like this? And she said, sure. So, that was everything that I got from the Goodwill on my trip this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you liked, if you found anything cool this week, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!